getting your hands dirty with machine learning is always fun the only blocker is the very dense mathematical machine learning concepts because not everyone wants to dabble into uh, vector matrices and all those mathematical statistical probability formulas but this new library autoglone enables you to build machine learning models or machine learning solutions should i say in very very few lines of code using your familiar python and you don't have to write hundreds and thousands of line of code you can just begin with a simple short python code in this video i will also be demonstrating you as how you can get this auto clone installed locally and then we will build a simple predictor now before i get started let me also tell you that this auto clone was used in the first second third and fourth place solution in kaggle's latest ml competition where uh, the number of participants were close to 3000 so this is quite <clears throat> a good um, library which has been proven in the industry now not only you can build machine learning solutions in few lines of code using python but you can also utilize a lot of state-of-the-art model that is quite customizable and extendable with a lot of models and matrices and it comes handy with cloud predictors and pre-built containers enough theory let me take you to my free google colab where you can get started you can use it locally too because all the commands are simply portable so let's get started the first thing we need to do is to get this thing installed so let me first change the runtime to make sure it, the runtime is t4 gpu by google which it is so that is good and now let me install the auto clone the commands are quite familiar i'm just first installing pip which should already be there by the way in google colab and then i am installing auto clone so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long it is quite lightweight auto clone is installed and now let's import from this tabular one because that is what we are going to use do not take too long that is done now we will be using the example data from nature issue 7887 which is ai guided intu intuition for math theorem so this is just a data set you can use your own if you like and then we are going to load this data set directly from url and i will also show you the code so this is where i'm uh, just downloading this data set from this url about the not theory and then we are using this tabular data set which is autogloon's uh, subclass of pandas data frame so any data frame method can be used on tabular data set as well let's run it there you go so you can see that <clears throat> all the data is there and if you scroll to the very right you will see a signature column all the tar uh, targets are stored in the signature column which has 18 unique integers even though pandas didn't correctly recognize this data type uh, type as categorical autoglone will fix this issue and that is one of the beauties of autoglone let's get the label of signature and let me run it there you go you see it has fixed it and got the data type and now let's do the training what we are doing in this line here we are constructing a tabular predictor by specifying the label column name and then train on the data set with tabular predict dot fit we don't need to specify <clears throat> any other parameters auto clone will recognize this as a multi-class classification task performing automatic feature engineering train multiple models and then ensemble the model to create the final predictor and that is going to take few minutes or maybe a bit less depends upon your gpu or cpu we can also make the training faster by specifying the time limit argument but i'm not going to use it i'm just going to go with this one let's see how long this takes it depends on this t4 gpu and its load hopefully it should finish soon so let's wait for it to be done and you can see that it is fitting the model on that data set so let's wait 
model training is done and if you see it just took just under three minutes amazing now in this one what we are doing we are uh, evaluating the predictor on this test data set using the evaluate function which measures how well our predictor performs on data that was not used for fitting the model so this data set is different from there so there you go it has very very finely gave us that and once the, uh, that's done let's also use predictor here quickly there you go so let's evaluate it sorry there you go so you see accuracy is 0.95 how good is that and if you want to see the leaderboard function because auto clones tabular predictor also provides that function which allows us to evaluate the performance of each individual trained model on the test data so if you run this one and then you just have to wait for a bit and then it is going to show you that there you go so each so this is uh, weighted in symbol l2 so if you just go up a little where this is the one which we created and then you will see that these are all the scores 0 0.95 96 and these are the others which were created as and you can just scroll to the right to see all of the stuff here there you go you see the fit order and all the those things and you can read further about all of these rubrics in the auto gloons repo which i will drop the link in video description so in summary what we have done here is we have seen auto clones basic fit and predict functionality using tabular data set and tabular predictor auto clone simplifies the model training process but no, but by not requiring feature engineering or model hyper parameter tuning and you can check a lot of other tutorials on their website i will drop the link there and you can you also see all of these commands from their github repo too really good project i think i'll be making more videos on it really like it especially um i would be doing some multi-modal stuff and then there is also um, cloud integration which i haven't checked out yet so really keen to see how that bit works so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you want to know more about anything in this video please ask it in the comments and i'll be very happy to answer and um, of course if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share it among your network on social media as that helps a lot and if you feel like it please also consider joining my patreon link as that always helps thanks for watching